I Jay and Will locked in. We've had a little drought of power. We're waiting for Raising Canaan to come back on air. And some people are saying that we're looking at a January 24 release date of 2025. But we just got a new article and it was posted on 50 Cent's Instagram is where I actually seen it. And it's talking about the upcoming power. Now, I've mentioned that the spinoffs, we know that there's going to be an origin story dropping between James and Tommy. But that should be maybe the end of 25, maybe early 2026. But we're going to jump into this article and see what they say, because the caption says that it might be the best power ever. Now, I don't know how you'll top the original power, but we're going to go ahead and see. Before we jump into this article and we break down what they have to offer us, hopefully it is one of the best powers because we definitely need something to hold us over. If you like power content, breakdown series and predictions, live after shows, you know I do the best breakdowns of the shows, then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and listen. We're on that road to 75,000 subscribers, so I appreciate each and every one of you. But let's go over the screen ramp and jump into this article of what could potentially be the best power ever. On ScreenRant.com, it says, upcoming power spinoff breaking a 10-year tradition means it could be the best power show yet. Now, remember the OG power dropped in 2014. Here we are, 2024. So it's been 10 years. We had the spinoff, Book 2, Book 4, Book 3, Ghost, Raising, Kane, and Enforce. We were supposed to have influence. Hopefully, they can still bring it back. But this Origins, I think Origins is going to be great. They tend to do a good job with the casting but i want to see origin stories of more than just james and tommy i want to see the background and maybe of some of the police officers maybe some of the lawyers and see how they got to where they're at also after 10 years of following the same formula power looks to set and shake things up with its new spinoff and it could be the franchise's best show yet with six successful seasons of its name power finally came to a close in 2020 but the story didn't end there, as the universe continued to expand with three unique spinoffs, each series followed a character from the main show and continued to flesh out their journeys. However, Book 2 Ghost and Book 4 Force cancellation means there's only one ongoing spinoff, but a new one is on the way. And we know that that is Raising Canaan. They have a season four dropping. They have a season five that's finished. So we're going to be following up with Canaan. And we're going to probably see season five before we see the spinoff of James and Tommy so it'll just roll on into it. I got a little ahead of myself because you know I have my own theories about what's going on but the article does say stars confirmed another prequel titled Powers Origin. It is in works although there's no release date that's been confirmed yet. The plot will focus on Ghost and Tommy during their younger years with the story being set before the events of the original show. Although the premise could be risky Power Book 3 Raising Kanan has already proven a prequel can work in this universe, but it isn't the project's only gamble. For a first time, a power show will have more than one protagonist, but the end of this 10 year tradition sets up an exciting future for the crime franchise. Now, we know Raising Kanan is going on. We're watching Kanan develop. We haven't seen him turn into the angry Kanan. We just know that he's putting in a little bit of work at this point. We're still waiting on Jukebox to go ahead and convert on over. Hopefully we'll see that in season four. But what they're saying is, how will they be able to integrate Origins with Raising Kanan going on? Unless they're going to bring young Kanan over to Origins and just, you know, show him around a little bit. He just pops up maybe here or there. Because I don't know how far back they're going to go with James and Tommy. Is it going to be a year, two years before they meet Kanan? So we can get the relationship between the two. One season that we just getting to know James and Tommy as kids. And then they meet Kanan and like uh, the next season I don't know how they're going to play that out but I am curious and I would like to see them do a year maybe two years before they even meet Kanan you know them doing their own little hustling trying to get in the game maybe just selling a little weed here or there you know or doing some stealing Powers Origins focusing on Ghost and Tommy can make it the best show yet Tommy and Ghost Dynamic could help the Origins rival the original Power show Despite Power having plenty of interesting characters, the main show has always predominantly been about Ghost, making him the sole protagonist before Tariq, Kanan, and Tommy became the leads of their own spinoffs. However, Power is finally going in a new direction as Origins will be about both Ghost and Tommy, with the duo sharing the spotlight. Their relationship was always one of the main highlights of the franchise. 
both of uh both as enemies and friends meaning the characters teaming up once again should be amazing especially as their past feels like it has plenty unexplored history to uncover now this is going to be interesting because we all know james and tommy the adults so getting introduced to new characters as far as playing the younger versions of them i would like to hear um narration from either adult james or adult tommy talking about what went on at that time so we're going to see both of them on screen it'd be more of a kind of how ghost was with Tariq and brayden but brayden is going to actually have a story when i say brayden i'm i'm <laughs> implying tommy as a kid so we're going to see them both and we'll probably see both of their stories as far as what happened with tommy his mom and teresi you see what i'm saying so that'll be interesting Although the likelihood of new actors playing the protagonist will be hard to get used to, that's exactly what I was saying. That'll probably be the toughest thing, seeing young Tommy and Ghost. I'm like, okay, cool, they they doing a good job. Tommy and Ghost are easily two of Power's best characters, meaning their younger counterparts should still excel. Origins will still have to grow its supporting cast, but the audience will instantly care about the lead characters and exploring both their lives individually and collectively as it gives the show a fresh dynamic. Therefore, if the franchise can maintain Tommy and Ghost's strong personalities and give them a high quality narrative, their prequel could surpass individual based spinoffs and become one of Power's best shows. Now, with this being a spinoff, it's not part of the book series. So how I'm a classify it, yes, it's a spinoff of the OG Power, but it's Power Origins. So you have the Origins universe, you have the book universe, you see what I'm saying? So that's how I'm gonna be judging because I got Raising Kanan with all of these other spinoffs as far as the books go. But the origins, I'm expecting maybe a two or three uh, seasons with the Ghost and Tommy, but then two or three seasons talking about how Tate was a police officer, two or three seasons about maybe one of the, you know saying, one of the other drug dealers, something of that nature. That's how I'm looking at origins as its own universe of spinoffs. I'm gonna jump down on this article. If you want to, it's on screen ramp, but this is kind of what I was talking about with the supporting cast that they're gonna have. Whereas the other power shows have all focused on this large roster of characters, Origins will give Ghost and Tommy the majority of attention. Of course, it will still have to introduce a variety of new characters to make the project memorable, but the series will most likely feature younger versions of established faces such as Tasha, Angela, Julio, who all helped the protagonist story. On the flip side, the other shows all had key characters outside the leads whose storylines were pivotal to driving the narrative forward. So yeah, that, that'd that be cool. We get to see young Tasha, Angela. Remember, Tasha's younger than them, so we might not see her in the beginning unless they start Tommy and, and Ghost off at maybe 15, 16 years old, but I don't think they're gonna do that. I think it's gonna be more like the, the early teens, maybe like 13. So that means Tasha's gonna be around 10. We might not see Tasha, but we will see Angela. There we go, a little bit of an update for Origins and what potentially could be happening. Now, I think they're not gonna drop the Origins until after season five of Raising Canaan because it wouldn't make sense to drop season one of Origins and then season five of Raising Canaan unless they're gonna have young Tommy and Ghost within Raising Canaan, but I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they'll finish that franchise up. That closes out, that opens up Origins. And I'm having this projected at maybe the end of 2025, maybe early 2026. It depends on when Raising Canaan season five drops, because we know we got four at the beginning of January, and I don't think they're gonna to try to drop that twice in one year. So we will see when this drops, I'm thinking 2026, but let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to Power Origins, or has it been too long and it's kind of, oh it was a good idea but they probably should have dropped this like four years ago let me know what you think i'm old ij if you like this kind of content hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'm out jimmy on a beat boy